Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we generate the reports using the Playwright JavaScript framework. Okay, so there is a reporter in the Playwright. It will provide some uh, inbuilt report as well as we can customize the reports and we can also uh, use some third party reporting for the reporting purpose so now i'm going to discuss here in this tutorial inbuilt reporters like list reporter line reporter dot reporter html reporter json reporter junit reporter so let's move so now this is the uh, official site of the playwright and here you can see there is a reporter tab in the left side click on this you will see here some features and options of the reporters different reporters options are available and these are documented let's start from here building reporter so there is first of list reporter so if we want to generate the reporter in the list format so when we run the program uh, test playwright test by using the list reporter it will generate the report on the console in the list format so here in the visual studio code i have already playwright uh, javascript code base where i have written the few test cases like uh, in three files one is in example uh, spec file second is the locator spec file third is in orange hrm file and uh, now uh, these test cases i am going to run and generate the reports so first of all i am going to show you like a list so let me run the test so npx playwright test and i am going to run only on the chromium so let me select chromium project and then this is reporter list So we can pass here the uh, reporter. We can pass here the reporter space list. So it will generate the report in the list format. Like you can see on the console, we are getting the reports list. And if the test is passed, it's giving us the tick. So total five passed. So okay. So in this format, we will get the reports for the list and we can pass the list from the command line along with the reporter as well as we can set up is in the playwright config file so where we will set up so there is a reporter key here we can use uh, by default here html is added so if we want to add more we can wrap up this in square bracket then second option i am going to pass the list and then close the bracket okay when i add when i we add here list then we don't need to pass the reporter command line it will automatically run the test and so the automatically show the reports in the console okay so now you can see all the five test cases the reports we can see here in the, in the list format okay and one by one the test when executed successfully we are getting tick mark here with green color so generated here we can see how much time it will take to execute for each test so this is our list reporter uh, now next We have one more thing if the test fail, how it, it will looks like. So let me make one test fail. So I'm going to make change here, intro one. In that case, this test will fail. So let me run. When the test fail, you can see in the class, right? And this is the red color. And at the bottom, we can see what is the failure. 
okay so next i am going to discuss about the line reporter so line reporter is more consists than the list reporter it uses a single line to report last finished test and print a failure when they occurs so it will print only the failure when they when it occurs so if we want to run generate the line reporter so we can add reporter equal to line so npx playwright test project equal to chromium and then reporter line so now we're running the test Okay, so here you will get the result how many tests run pass and uh, how many uh, tests are failed at the end. So, inline comment uh, failure you can see here. So, if I revert this, change this, so now test will not fail. Let's see how it will look like. Yeah, only when five tests passed, how much it will take time, and when if the test fail, you will get the failure. This we can also pass in the reporter line. Okay, let me move next dot reporter. So dot reporter basically it will give only some dots, and if the test fail, it will mark the fail in the dot format. So if we want to run this we can pass here the dot along with the reporter option and now you will see once the test pass you will see here dots like you two dots two test pass three dots four and now it's going to print the fifth dot so five dot means five test passed if i will change here like suppose that i am giving intro one so it means now I'm going to fail one test. Let's see how it will looks like when the test will fail. Three dot green, it means pass. And uh, one dot, one is F, it means fails. So four passed and one failed. So fail test for the fail test you will see the EF while the uh, pass test we will see the uh, green dot color and below we will see the exception why the test is failing. Okay similar type we can add the uh, line a dot in HTML in reporter here in the playwright config files. Let's see how we add so dot just add the dot. Now let me run without reporter dot option. So we can generate the reporter two ways. One is by using the reporters fr uh, from the playwright config file and second option we can pass from, from the command line, reporter value from the command line. Yeah, you can see now it's generated the reports in the dot format green for pass f for fail okay let me move on the next reporter now let me revert this next reporter we have html reporter and uh, we can generate the html report in two ways one by passing the html from the command line second by adding the html in the uh, config file playwright config file so let me first remove from here yeah by default it will it is already added when we generate the reports so let's see first here so report is already gen uh, generated but let me rerun again 
So when we pass HTML in the reporter in config file, the report will automatically generate in HTML format. And we can open that report in the uh, commands. There are some commands. If we run HTML report, will open. Let me show you. Yeah, npx playwright show report. Just type here, enter. You will see a show report. Yeah, report is open here. All the five test report you can see generated. Okay, so this is the HTML report which is generated. Now, let me remove from the reporter. As I told, we can run the reporter two ways. One from the command line, second from the config file. Now I'm going to run from the command line. Reporter HTML. Okay, so in that case, no need to reporter. In that case, no need to pass the HTML in the play, playwright config file. We can just pass the reporter HTML from the command line and it will generate the report. The report is generated and we can open by running the command npx playwright show report. Yeah, you can see the reports now. Yeah, while generating the reports in the yes, reporter HTML, we can also change the directory path. By default, it will generate the reports under the playwright report folder. But yes, if we want, we can change the report also report folder also let me give change you so let me change the report so now i am going to give the name my reports folder or let me give only the report folder and deleting delete this so this is the html output directory reports okay and now if i run the report will generate under the report folder so let me run Okay, so you can see here report folder is created and here HTML file is generated. So now report is we can open. So we can pass our folder name. So in, in that case, it will generate the reports under that folder, not a default folder. Now, uh, next I am going to show how we generate the report in, in JSON format. Okay, so we have a json option so we can we need to pass the reporter uh, json value along with the reporter and uh, before that we need to set up the json output file name path if we will not pass the json file name then it will generate the report on the console so let's see how it will work So reporter JSON. So now running the test. Yeah, so report is generated in JSON format 
and printed here. But if we want to save this in any particular file, then we can pass the environment value and then result.json. So in this file, it will generate the report. If we are not passing the file or setting up the JSON output name, playwright JSON output name, then it will not generate uh, the in the files. Okay. Let me show you from uh, the config file, playwright config file. So pass the uh, this detail information. Let me show you. So adding one more for the JSON. So JSON and this is the output file where the report will generate. And now let me run. So if we are not passing the file name, then it will generate the reports on the console. But if we are passing the file name, it will generate the uh, reports in particular file. File we can pass two ways. One, we can set up the environment variable by passing the playwright JSON output. And second, we can pass from the reporter playwright config file. So now you can see. Okay, so let me now remove the command line option and run the test. Okay, now test is passed and you will see the JSON file is generated. This is the result JSON result.json file. Okay, so in this way we can generate the report in the JSON format and this is very useful when we want to publish the result on the CI environment. This we can use and publish. Next is the JNet reporter. So JNet reporter uh, option we have also which will generate the report into the JUnit format. Similar type the JSON for the JUnit reporter, we need to pass the JUnit reporter output file name. Okay, either from the environment variable we can set up or we can pass the reporter file from the uh, playwright config file like this. So and when we are setting up the playwright environment variable, we need to pass the we can run from the command line as well, like hyphen hyphen reporter JUnit. And we can also set up the uh, like uh, in the con playwright config file and generate the reports. Let me show you from the playwright config file. Add the key JUnit. Okay, and output file name is result.html. So now let me run, and you will see result will generate in. Uh, XML format also. Okay, execution done. And you can see here there is a result XML file is generated and it captures the reports in the XML format. And this is the JSON format. This XML format, JNet style, we can use to publish on the CI environment and it will generate the beautiful reports. Okay. So, next we have some option to customize the JUnit reports by passing some uh, different options. Okay. And uh, apart from that, we can pass some information in the JUnit report by running these commands. So, I will discuss these in a separate. Uh, video and also we have some options to uh, generate the reports uh, using custom reporters so where we can customize the reports and we can also use some third party reporters so case like the hello report report port portals so these options we can also use to generate the reports hope this will help you to understand how we generate the reports uh, in build reports or the playwright by using the a playwright config file as well as from the command lines okay so if you like the video please subscribe the channel share this to your colleagues friend